Hello! Welcome to this year's 2022 Coachover videos. I hope you like them. I really enjoy making them. This format will be a little bit different though because I want to spend less time editing and more time creating content. Um, so this is going to be like raw footage. I'm not going to edit this one. Maybe just the sound, <laughs> but I'm not going to edit the video at all. So I will make mistakes um, and you will have to live with them. Cool. So the first thing that I wanted to show you before getting into the whole thing, because I think most of the things that I will do this year are going to be deal with again. Just because like they're the shortest videos that I can do, there's not a lot that I can do in like CICD or other kind of stuff that it's not going to take me a lot of time to record. Um, so I may just stick to data web again. I don't know what's going to happen. So here you go. Um, uh, the first thing that I just want to show you is that a lot of you may be using the data with playground, uh, to do data with stuff, but I am going to actually use uh, visual studio code because I think the plugin is just easier and it looks cool to be honest. So. Let's just do that. Um, and in case you still want to use the Zero Playground, you can just do that. But if by, by any point you start with the Zero Playground, but then you decide that you want to switch to VS Code, then you can just take your code from here and put it in VS Code. And that's what I'm going to do today. And I'm going to show you how to like set it up so it looks kind of like the Zero Playground. So you are here in the Zero Playground, you have some stuff. Hello world, um, this is Alex, yay. So um, let's just remove this so I can show the whole thing. And you know what, let me just like, yeah, I'm gonna put that message and I'm gonna put everything in upper case, just so like I know that there's a change somewhere. Okay, so this is gonna be the transformation that I'm gonna be changing to Visual Studio Code. So we have this and now we just have to go into these beautiful buttons here at the top. You can export or you can import. If you already have a zip file, you can just import it. And actually I'm going to do that. I'm going to like put the zip file of the transform in. Or oh, is it too much? Ah, uh, we'll see what I'll do. But if you see a zip file that is for like a data web playground, you can just import it here and you will be able to see the transformation here. But in this case, we're going to take the transformation from the data web playground and put it in um, Visual Studio Code. So just click on this export button right here. And this will, oh, you cannot see it, but it, this downloaded a zip file. For the best data web de development experience on zip and open the project on VS Code. Yes. Don't forget to install the data web extension. Very important. Yes. Um, if you haven't installed the data web extension in VS Code, you need to do that. Not only that, you also need to install Java and Maven. So <clears throat> make sure you have Java, Maven, and the data web extension installed in VS Code before doing this. So, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Um, now, if I go to my VS Code, I downloaded the zip file. And if I click on open folder, oh, wait, no, I need to unzip the file first. Um, so let me just do that really quick. It's unzipping. Yay. Okay. Unzipped. All right. So now open folder, uh, downloads, and then it was the, this is a zip and then my project. Where is my project? My project here. This is a folder. So open. All right. I have this. Let me make this bigger and maybe not much. Yeah, like that. So now I have my source main DW and I have the, the main, like the transformation. Just leave me alone. The transformation that I did doing the upper and blah, blah, blah. And then on this side, I have research, uh, sorry, test, DW, no, 
resources, <laughs> test resources, and I have the input payload, which is payload.json. Hello world, this is Alex, yay. Um, so now what you can do is you can just click on this explorer again to like minimize that. Oh wait, I need this. There. So you can minimize that and you can just drag and drop this thing onto this side there. And now you will be able to see like your input transformation on one side and your transformation on the on your like your script on the middle. And now if you click on this beautiful run button right here, you can run the preview of this transformation. So now here you have the preview output as well. You can move this as many times as you want. You can resize, you can do whatever you want. You can also move it to like the bottom if you feel like that's easier for you to see or whatever however you want to set it up you can just drag and drop stuff why are you not working now um there you go so you can do whatever you want with it and now the second thing is that just um you can just leave it like that oh here comes my cat <laughs> you can just leave it like that and just keep on clicking run preview. For example, if I take off upper, this will not be reflected immediately. I have to click on preview again, and this will reflect it. This is better if you are working on like a lot of transformations and you don't want the tool to keep on reloading every time because it may be slower. Um, so you can leave it like that, or you can just right click on this part um, and select enable or preview. So if you enable our preview, this will work as the data with playground. And now every time that I do some changes here, it will be immediately reflected just like in the data with playground. So there you go. We took this code from here and put it on this side in VS code. And that's how that works. So now I'm going to be using um, um, VS code instead of the data with playground just to like demonstrate why this is better. It has a lot of neat functionality and it has like dark mode. <laughs> like you can put your theme and everything. So I think it just looks cooler. All right. So that's all for this video. I will see you in the next CodeTober videos. We will have 31 videos for this year, just as last year. And I hope you enjoy them. Bye.